acceptance is from us. The rejection and the control comes from communism and it comes from the Arabs. Blow up the infidels. You don't subscribe to me, blow up the infidels. And a lot of people, Jewish people, do what you just did. You smirk. I got news for you. What you do is worse than blow up the infidels. You kill their parents. You kill the fact you're alive, but they don't, have, they don't feel that they have parents. You make them Yisoyimim B'chayi Ha'av in the name of Hashem. And Hashem is saying, mm, mm, listen to the Baal Shem Tev, he's on my wall. Listen to the Chazanish, he's on my wall. Where is it? It's over there. Listen to Rav Pam, listen to the Chazan, listen to the Bavit Rebbe, listen to that. all these people representing Hashem, and you're representing Hashem, and saying, I can't look at you. You disgust me. Where? Show me one story that that's what happened. Show me one tzaddik, one gadol that talked like that. It's pain. Yes, you're entitled to be in pain, but don't kill your kid because of it, in the name of God. What you should say, if you're honest, is... My child, Hashem wants me to love you, but I'm a stupid human and I do a lot of sins and this is one of them. Pew! Get out of my house. But don't do it in the name of Hashem. Do it in the name of your ego. Fine, I, I respect you. Do it in the name of your ego. Do it in the name of the Shechenim. I'm sacrificing you on behalf of my neighbors. Like they used to throw the kids, right? Okay, that's a good reason to lose your kid. Okay, fine, especially if you live in Williamsburg. I understand. No, neighbors is very powerful, right? I, I'm doing it in the name of, I'm embarrassed of my, do it in your own personal flaws and small mindedness, but you do it in the name of Hashem, in the name of God. I'm so from that you can't behave this way in front of me, I can't tolerate you. No, hang on, that's not what Hashem says through the tzaddikim of so many generations.